Hey traders, TG here. It is Tuesday night, uh, and I want to talk about uh, setup in Google that I'm looking at. Uh, it's actually a follow-up from the uh, the other trade we looked at. I think it was yesterday in Tesla pullback. Uh, very similar setup here in Google, looking to buy the uh, the pullback here. So uh, we're going to do it in our preferred charting software, Motive Wave. Which, uh, by the way, before I forget, we're doing a webinar tomorrow night, seven o'clock, uh, New York time. Space is limited. It is filling up. So if you want, uh, I think look below for a link and you can sign up for free. So um, I'm gonna take you through uh, Google using Motive Wave, which again is our preferred charting software. Uh, those of you who are a little bit more advanced than technicals, uh, you know, you like Elliott, you like Fib, kind of um, GAN, kind of more advanced technical stuff, Motive Wave is pretty awesome. So uh, let's dive in, ready? I'm gonna jump inside the chart. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this all at once. Now I gotta hit the button, ready? Whoa, here we go, I love this part. All right, so we're looking at this pullback in Google, right? Um, we're gonna look at the move up from, I think it's the end of January, yep, January up to the February high, and then we're gonna look at this three-wave pullback and set up kind of long positions using Elliott and Fib. All right, so here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the count here at the lows. Control shift K and I'm gonna hot I have everything hotkeyed. Actually, Motive Wave comes with a hotkey, so I'm gonna move pretty fast just in the interest of time here. Um, so we'll go up in A, we'll go down in B somewhere, we're looking for the lows, and then it's gonna drop C in place. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is look at the ratio analysis, meaning I'm gonna pull, pull in a Fibonacci retracement. Okay, this is how far you find out the corrections will go, um, and that's the whole point of trading. You want to find the end of corrections to get long for the move up in the next trend. That's pretty much as basic as it gets, right? So Motor Wave has it built in for you. We're going to go like this. Ratio analysis B and A. Uh, the color coded green is your ideal. Blue is a little shallow, and orange is a little deep. Okay, so I'll leave the shallow level. I'll leave the deep level, and I'll leave the ideal level. Okay, now. So many people, especially in higher price uh, products like Google or trading options, options and fib and wave time go together like peanut butter and jelly. Okay, um, so let's do this. I'm gonna do the same thing. Time analysis, I'm gonna look at B and A. Okay, this is time elapsed in the A wave compared to time elapsed in the B wave. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna do that again. Time analysis, B and A, right there. Okay. Now, what's awesome is this. Okay, the 618 time retracement came in on March 15th, which put in a bounce in this market. Okay, didn't reverse it all out, but it definitely put in a low, came back, then sold off, and now we're approaching the 61.8% price, which is at 11.38. We're also approaching 100% time. So what that means is if the A wave lasted, let's say, 30 days, the B wave will last 30 days on March 27th. So we have a pretty good uh, agreement between Fibonacci price and time here. Let me just line up these two levels, watch. Okay, we'll do, I'll just put them like right, I'll bring them up, let me bring the B wave over a little bit, watch this. I'll pull this down. So we now, we now have a box, okay? The 618 price matches up with 100% time, March 27th at 1138. Down here is the lower end of your box. 1113 price, April 16th time. Very nice zone. So what I'm gonna do is set up a proprietary uh, system that scans for long entries, which we're gonna talk about tomorrow. 1138 down to 1113. Between, uh, we'll do it on April, what I say, 27th out till, uh, I gotta look at these dates. Apply. That date was April 15th, so let me just adjust it. April 15th, uh, which is gonna be Tuesday, and then we'll scan for longs up to 12, 12.05, that's fine. Apply update. Okay, so now we have the system set up. Okay, so we've done the Elliott, we've done the trading, and all we have to do is wait for a signal to fire off, enable it, email it to myself, pop up, text message, good to go, and that's how you trade with Elliott and Fib 
and motive wave all together. Now we can just simply wait for the signal and we're actually working so that it just auto execute in our trading account. So uh, pretty cool stuff. We're gonna talk about it tomorrow. So again, come on into the webinar. Um, if you don't wanna automate it and do all this, you can do any of this stuff by hand as well in any charting software out there. So uh, look for the agreement of price and time to find the end of pullbacks, which is essentially all trading is buying pullbacks or buying weakness within the course of longer term uptrend or selling strength within the course of longer down term downtrend. All right. Hope it helps guys. And I will see you on the webinar tomorrow. Thanks.